Today I'm going to give a short tutorial on how to create a water droplet through window effect on Adobe Photoshop CS6. The first step is to have a background picture such as the one I have here. This picture was taken by me on a cloudy day one day, so I didn't just take it off somewhere. Next step, make a new layer. As you can see, I created the layer by pressing the Create a New Layer button down here. It's the one that looks like a post-it note that's folded on an edge. The next step is going over here to the Elliptical Marquee Tool. You drag across and you get a rough, you make whatever size you want. Just, you can adjust the size later. Just make sure you have an oval shape. The next step is to go to the Gradient Tool. For the gradient tool, you have to be careful that it's white to black and just drag it across and you should get something like this. Then go over to the layer options for the layer that you've created and set this to overlay. The opacity, which is right next to it, you have to change to 75. I apologize if there's any clicking during this video. My trackpad makes those sounds. Go over to Blending Options, and the first thing that you have to do is click Bevel and Emboss. Now here the depth will have to be 105. Make note that it has to be inner bevel and smooth. The size should be 10. I prefer to have an angle of 90 degrees. Make sure global light is checked. And then over here, by Shadow Mode, just simply turn it into a darker gray. It shouldn't be completely black, but a kind of gray color will be good. Then go to stroke, do the size to one, position should be inside, color, gradient. I have my own personal settings, so you're welcome to play around with it a bit. The style should be reflected, angle, negative 21, scale, 123. Next, press click inner shadow. The opacity should be 20, and the size should be 4. Next, check Inner Glow. Inner Glow, nothing really should be changed except the color should be turned to black. The last thing is Drop Shadow. Go over here, turn this to 15, and nothing else gets changed. Press OK, and you're practically done. Simply go over here and deselect it. I know that there's another way, but this is the way that I do it. And then you can transform it into a water droplet by changing the size. And if you want to, you can go to filter and do liquefy, but I'll leave you to experiment around with it and go have fun. I hope you liked my tutorial.